Good evening. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Uh, hello, Glenda. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Great. I'm doing well. Thanks. How was your day? Very busy. Oh, you had a busy day? Okay. Did you work today? I don't work. Okay, you stay home. Uh, yes, I, I'm a housewife. You're a housewife, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of work at home too, right? Cleaning yes. and doing all of that. Yes, lots of chores. Okay, yeah. and do you have kids, then? No, I don't have. Oh, you don't, okay. All right, that's good. And how about the platform? Did you have time to work on it? I finished that all. You finished everything in the platform? Yes. Oh, very well. You were pretty fast. Excellent. Congratulations. I have a question about this. OK, tell me. Uh, it's another question. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. este, con una pregunta. Este, no dan ninguna respuesta de la que doy es la correcta. Y ya chequeé la puntuación y los espacios también. ¿En qué pregunta? Si gusta, revisamos. Sería de una. What section? Sería. Yeah, mom, okay, don't worry. Este, do you like grad? Así se llama la lección. Do you like grad? Y do you remember what number it is? No se recuerda qué número es. I, uh, I think it's the three. Section three. Let me see. Let's try to get it. Okay, just give me a second, it's loading. They're perfect for you. We got a demonstratives. Yeah, what else? Sentence stress. Which one do you prefer? Is it that one? Is this thing, Linda? Which one do you prefer? No, it's just the. A ti te gusta el rap. Do you like oh, rap? Do you like rap? Okay, let me see. I think that one is section four. Okay, let's see. Eh, les voy a pedir, por favor, que cuando tengamos alguna consultita así, anotemos el número de, de sección, ¿dónde está? Para que, eh, para que podamos encontrarlo más rápido. Ok. Ok, okay. Um, okay. but we can look for it. Um, yeah, it's not here. Oh, no. Okay, is this the midterm? Let me go back to there. Maybe it's section four. Okay, yeah, it's section four. And what exercise? ¿Cuál ejercicio será? Linda? Do you like what? Four questions. Mm, yeah, section four and the exercise, don't remember. Okay, let's see. Okay, my internet is kind of slow. Hmm. So bad. And let us know the check, Glenda. Sería este, this one? 
Yes. Okay. Number two. Number two. Okay, so it says read the following sentences complete by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronouns. So let's try to solve it. We got number one. What's the answer? What do we need there? Do. Do. Do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. 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 Hmm, there we should write it this way. Let me try to submit it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't take it. Let me try without the period. Mm -hmm. Okay, eh, en verdad sí debería de llevar el punto, pero eh, parece que la plataforma no está no está eh, configurada de esa forma, entonces pueden oh, ponerlo okay. así, sin el punto. Sí, sí, lo estuve intentando, pero como decía, eh, de que teníamos que tener cuidado con los, con los espacios y los puntos. Sí, sí de hecho entonces, sí, así debería de ser, pero eh, bueno, este es, me imagino que se ha escapado ahí sin el puntito. Entonces sí, intentemos la respuesta. No. Ok, thank you. Ok, no problem. All right, and let me just take notes of this to report it in. Okay. All right, so let me see. Good evening, Patricia, Carla Patricia. I find things. Okay, very good. How was your day? Super. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. In the platform, Carla, did you have time to work on it? Very good. Okay. Eh, ¿Tuvo tiempo de trabajar en plataforma? ¿Cómo va? Very good. Very yes. good. Okay. Nice. Excellent. And let me see Walter René. Good evening. Check your microphone, please, mister. Oh, yeah, I cannot hear you, Walter. Uh, good, good evening. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Uh, very good. Nice. Uh, and the platform, Walter, have you been working on it? Yes, uh, a little time. Okay, but you started already. That's nice. Very well. Okay. Manuel de Jesus, good evening. But I'm not good. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. Good. And how was your day, mister? It was a great day. Okay, that's nice. Have you been working on the platform? Yes. Yes, okay. Fine, and everything is good there. Yes? Todo bien en la plataforma. Sí, ahorita sí, todo bien. So far, so good. Okay, excellent. Let me see, Rosario del Carmen. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Rosario? I'm fine, thank you. Good. How was your day? A little tired, but um, that's okay um, on the end of the day. Okay, great. And the platform, Rosario, have you been working there? Yes, yes, I am. Um, okay. um, uh, 
I, uh, I go to the section uh, of five. Okay, nice. You have worked a lot. That's cool. Excellent. Thank you. Got in Stephanie. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Karen? Um, I'm fine. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, how was your day? It was uh, relaxed. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, did you stay home today or did you have a day off? Yes, I have a day off. Okay, that is great. What did you do on your day off? Um, in the morning, I, I was with my brother to, to have breakfast. And in the afternoon, I'm working in the platform. Okay, excellent, Karen. Sounds very nice. And let me see. Dagoberto, good evening. Uh, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. How was your day, mister? Uh, uh, it's very good. My day, my day was very good. Okay, nice. Uh, and the platform, mister, have you been working on it? I'm, I I did start the this evening. You started, okay. All right, excellent. Or the, okay, or nice. This afternoon or this night? Oh. Um, or this evening is it's okay. Depending on what time you you did it. So maybe if it For, was in the afternoon, it would be from a twelve. To or I mean from noon to like six or yeah six, and then from six on we would say evening. So yeah, it depends on what time you were working. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So welcome everybody. Good evening, and uh, we are going to start today's class. Let's see what we get. So today we are going to review the use of possessive adjectives. And we are also going to study a new topic, which is statements with be, which I'm pretty sure you have studied before. So we're just going to review and practice. And let's start by talking about the possessive adjectives. What do you remember about them? What do you remember about possessive adjectives? ¿Qué recuerdan de los possessive adjectives? What do you remember? When do we use them? Hi, me. Okay. When uh, something, when the something that belong to to um, somebody, people, or somebody. Uh -huh. That's right. Or... So we use um, possessive adjectives to indicate possession or to show possession, right? Thank you, Rosario. And then uh, we, we mentioned that we have a possessive, different possessive adjectives for the different subjects. So let's remember about the subjects. We got I, you, he, what else? She. 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 It. It, it, we, 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 and they. they, that's right. And then a, we have a different adjective for each of the subjects. For example, for I, we would say. My, 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 you, your, your, your he, his, his, his she, his, her, her, her. 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 It, 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 we, well, our, 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 they, our, they, there, 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 okay, 
There we go. Let's practice Ooh. pronunciation. Repeat, please. I. I. I my, my. 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 You. My. You. Your. 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 He. He. His. 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 She. 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 Her. 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 It. Her. It. 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 Can you make some, please? You seen any of the adjectives? Use my, your, his, her, it's, our, or there. Any of that? My phone is black. My phone is black. Okay, any other? Your house is big. Your house is big. Okay. This is his cell phone. This is his cell phone. Do you have she another one? Her glasses her, are broken. Her, her glasses are... Brown, did Brown. you say? Oh, broken. Broke. Broke. Okay. Fine. And I also heard her dress is what? New. New. Perfect. Do we have any other? Try to make one using its, please. It's Today. my job. Today. Mm -hmm. mm, but Today. yes. Today, our is time. Well, think about something specific. Hay que pensar en un objeto, en un animal, y luego consideremos algo que pertenezca a ese animal o a ese objeto. Okay. Its name okay. is Maud. Its name is Maud. Okay. Yes. Interesting name. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, let's think about, for example, an alligator. An alligator, we would say like its tail is long, for instance. Its tail is long. Si pensamos, por ejemplo, en un alligator, y podríamos decir su cola, its tail is long. Or we could also say it's... Um, color is green. So that's how it goes. Así, eh, quiero que comprendamos el uso de, de it's porque eh, de pronto hay un poquito de confusión. Entonces pensamos en algo que pertenece, como ya lo mencioné antes, a un animal o a una cosa. Por ejemplo, si estoy hablando de un animal, puedo hablar de su nombre, its name, su cola, its tail, its color, its hair, eh, su cabello, su pelo, and eh, so on. I mean, different things. Like eh, if I'm talking about a dog, for instance, I could say its favorite toy is the this ball, for instance, and so on. So that's how we use it. Any questions so far so good? We're good? Good. Good. Okay. All right, fine. Good. And let's repeat the possessive adjectives one more time. My. 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 Your. 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 His. 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 Hair. 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 It's. 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 Our. 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 There. 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 Okay. <laughs> Very well. Now let's continue. Oh, 
Yesterday we did some exercises and we didn't have time to check them, right? We are going to do it now. Let me display them. Okay, here we go. This is the exercise we solved yesterday. Let's try to check it. We have number one, where is? My, my book. My, my, my. my book. Here is our, 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 teacher. our teacher. Number three, she goes to school with hair, 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 hair brother. Hair. Hair brother. They, uh, what would be the corresponding adjective? There, there, there. 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 So the sentence is their father works in a car in factory. Car. Number five. You're your, 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 your no. laptop is very expensive. expensive. Number six. Kiss. 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 We got his favorite hobby is tennis. Number seven. My. 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 My husband and I want to go to Paris. Number eight, we want to see it's it's it's, 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 it's historical monuments. <laughs> Number nine, Layla likes hair. Hair, hair dog. And oh. number ten, what's the possessive? <laughs> it's, 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 it's 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 it's. We would say its name is Bobby. Okay, there we go. Those are the answers. Now let's work on exercise two. Let's check it. Okay, so we have, um, okay, let me get a color here. Here we go. Number one, that is my sister's husband. That is? Hair. 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 Hair husband. Hair. That's correct. Hair husband. Number two, can somebody help me to read it, please? And give me the answers. This is it. Um, this, this is this is shirt. Okay, it read it. This shirt me. belongs to this me. Mm -hmm. belongs to me. This is this is my 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 shirt. That's right. Number three. Can somebody read it, please? That is Frank's sister. That is your sister. Your sister. That is your sister. His. Because it's Frank's sister. Yes. So we won't say his. Oops. His sister. Number four. Read it, please. This is Marta's this brother's Marta. pillow. Okay, this is? Her. This is. Is he? Mm, is. Whose is the pillow at the end? The king is la brother. brother. His brother. His brother, his brother his right? Brother. So we would say this is his, his pillow. His pillow. His pillow. Yes. And then, eh, do not get confused. Recuerdo que eh, por ahí en algún grupo escuché que acá eh, nos confundíamos un poquito porque estamos hablando del, de la pillow, right? De la almohada. Entonces, es una cosa, pero no, recuérdese que el adjetivo no depende realmente de la cosa de la que estoy hablando, sino del dueño o de la dueña. So, in this case, we're talking about Marta's brother's pillow. So, the owner is the brother, her brother. So we would say this is his pillow. Acá el adjetivo va a depender de quién es el dueño, repito. No es eh, precisamente de la cosa de la que estoy hablando. So be careful with that. Number five, that is our neighbor's plant. That is? Their. Their plant. plant. Their plant. That's correct. Number six, read it please. This house does not belong to us. This house does not belong to us. This isn't our house. Our, our, our house. house. That's correct. 
And number seven, read. You live yeah. on this street. This is your street. Your. Street. your. Your. This is your street. Your Number street. eight. David, David and his David brother David live David on that David. street. That is? There. That is there. Their street. Their street. Their street. Number nine. This cow belongs to my oh, old Salma. This is? Selma. This is? His. Mm, on hair. Selma, here. Hair. 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 Here come. And number 10. Those glasses belong Glass. to my brother's wife. My brother's wife. Those are her glasses. Yeah, hair glasses. Okay, that's correct. Any questions about um, any of the answers or the vocabulary, maybe? Everything is clear? Okay, let's continue. Okay, I have another exercise for you to solve. In this exercise, you have to complete using the possessive adjective. For example, number one would be two students didn't do can do what? What's the adjective? Two students didn't do their, their mathematics their. homework. Hey. That's correct. Their mathematics homework. So that's what you have to do. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms once again. So you practice with your classmates and then there's another exercise I want you to solve. It's this one. Here you have to talk about your favorites. So you ask your classmates, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite sport? What do you, what's your favorite movie? And what's your favorite book? And, and then remember to keep in mind your answers. Maybe you can take notes because when we come back, we are going to share about our classmates' favorites. Por favor, tomar nota porque cuando volvamos vamos a compartir un poquito acerca de la información que obtuvimos de nuestros compañeros. Like if I'm working with Rosario, I would say her favorite color is red. Her favorite food is a hamburger. Her favorite sport is soccer and so on. So please take notes about the answers you get. And we're solving those two exercises. Um, are we ready? I'm sending you screenshots to the WhatsApp group. Are you ready to go to the breakout rooms? Yeah. Yes? Okay, here we go. Yeah. All right, now I'm opening them. There we go. Edwin Gustavo, are you there? 
Hello, Edwin. Manuel. Okay. Eh, la número uno, ¿quién entonces? Vamos a ver. Manuel, dijeron la número uno. Ahí sería Dare. Dare. Entonces, ¿complementamos el, el ejercicio 3 entre todos o cómo es? Sí, sí, sí. No sé si quieren. Vamos a una frase cada uno, una, una, una. No sé si cada uno estaría bien. Sí, ¿verdad? Así. Y si no nos parece, el cor corregimos. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, Manuel, la primera decíamos. There. 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 ¿Les parece si leemos toda la frase, toda la oración para, para practicar la pronunciación de una vez? Sí, está bien. Entonces, eh, ajá, Manuel, la primera. Tu student did do their mathematics. Mathematics. Homework. Mathematics. Homework. ¿Cómo se dice matemática? It would be no. mathematics. Mathematics. Yes. Eh, Walter, next. Mm. Okay, I have a car. ¿Cuál sería acá? It's. It. The color it's, is black. Sí, porque estás hablando del el carro del sujeto. Del color del uh -huh. carro. Uh -huh. I have a car. It's color is black. It's color is black. Uh -huh. Linda. We have a dog. It's named is Pancho. Okay. Uh, Nancy is, is from England. Uh, her husband is from Australia. Yes. De nuevo, Manuel. ¿Cuál me toca? La cinco. Um, in... And and neither go to school. No, high school. 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 School. Primary school. Primary school. Ah, sí, sí. Primary school. Mm -hmm. okay. Very well. Six, number six. Uh, Walter, ¿verdad? Eh? Alan has a, a paint. Ahí sería hit. No, porque eso es Alan. His, um, It. No, his his. Uh -huh, exactly. It. No, his. 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 His.
Do you understand the meaning of band? Si ¿Sí conocen el significado de band? Uh, yes. Uh, van es como una camioneta. Yeah, that's correct. Así un poco grande. Uh -huh. uh, Glenda, las siete, ¿verdad? Yes. Um, um, I like singing. Seven. Seven. Oh, wait. No, seven. Seven. Okay. Sí. We go to high school. Uh -huh. It's high school. It's fantastic. Eh. Mm. ¿Cuál es el, el adjetivo? Who's... Our, our. Our, bueno. okay. our high school is fantastic. No, es... Sí, ya. Ay. ¿Cómo se pronunciará? La sí. 8. Any... Hello, I'm here. Do you have a question? Hello. Hello. No. No, no. question? Okay. Solo unas pronunciaciones okay. tenemos. Bueno, yo tengo un poquito de trabajo en eso. Pero... Ok, don't worry, I can help you. La, la número 8, I like singing. Dice singing. ¿Cómo singing. pronunciaremos singing? Yeah, it's singing. Singing. You got Así it. Así como singing. se escribe. That's right. Ok. No es sing with me. I love your case, eh, Ana Lisette. Me gusta su. Ah, I love thank it. Thank you. I love a cat. Oh, you love cats. Everybody, okay. cats make my house. <laughs> oh, okay. How many do you have? ¿Cuántos tienes? Yes, five. Oh, you got five cats. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> 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 número nueve. Nueve. Francois and Alain. Are French. French. Franco y Alan son de Fra franceses, yes, French. Franceses. French. Are French. Yes. Se dice sería... su familia son de Francia, pero sería mm -hmm. their, 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 their family uh -huh. are from France. Sí. Y la 10. Mary likes. Her grandmother. No. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Pero dice, a Mari le gusta eh, como que la, la abuela, pero su abuela o mi no. abuela. No sé. Ahí. It Está confuso be... un poco. Va. La número 10. Yeah, you could say her grandmother or her. Uh, yeah. Or maybe if you want to use my grandmother, it would be fine. But I mean, we need to have a reference. Eh, si podríamos poner my grandmother como, eh, en ese caso no es gustar, sino que es eh, le agrada, a Mary le agrada, le cae bien. Ajá, eh, ajá. Podría ser su abuelita o mi abuelita. Ajá, right? Pero depende es... de la referencia que, que tuviéramos. En ese caso, pues no tenemos mayor información. So, use ajá. hair. Por eso está un poquito así. Entonces, hair. Yes. Yeah, hair. keep it as hair. She often hair. No sé si terminaron bueno. todos los compañeros o, o pasamos a la siguiente. Pasemos al cuatro. A la de las preguntas. Mhm. Uh -huh. No sé quién no, empieza siempre. No, no. no sé si empiezas tú, Ana. Okay. 
What is your favorite color, Jonathan? My favorite color is blue. blue. What Maybe is blue. your only blue? Navy blue. Hmm. Or blue. Navy blue. <laughs> um, what's your food? Favorite food? Favorite food. My favorite. I don't have. I don't have favorite book. And Yolanda, right? What's your favorite color, Yolanda? My favorite color is blue. Blue. What is your favorite food? Um, chicken. What is your favorite sport? Swim. What? Swim. What is your favorite movie? The, the Godfather. The God The Good Father. What is your favorite book? Paula. Paula. Okay. Thanks. Okay. We have, we have the the old answer, no? Yes. Katia, Karen, and Karen. Yes. Perfect. Did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. I have a question. Uh, All right, fine. So we are going to come back in just a minute. Una de las compañeras, el deporte que dijo ir al gimnasio, ¿a qué? Karen. Entrenar en el gimnasio. Train. Training at the gym. Training at the gym. Okay, you're back everybody. I saw you were working pretty well, so that was nice. And now it's time to check. Let me display the exercise so we get the answers. Okay, and let's see, we have number one, we said two students didn't do their mathematics homework, right? Number two, I have a car. What do we say there? Its color is black. Its, its color is black. We have a dog. Yeah. Its, its name. Oh, its, its name. Its name is Pancho. Nancy is from England. Her husband. Yes, her husband. Yes. yes. Say her husband is from Australia. Next one, number five. Help me to read, please. Anna and I go to high school. Okay. They, yeah. They're they little together. They their little brother. Their little brother goes to primary school to primary school good number six tell me the answer please and read the sentence alan has a bang mm, hair bang is very old hair or his alan his. is a boy his. so we would say his his band is very old Number seven, we go to a high school. Our, our high school. Our, our high school our is high fantastic. School is fantastic. 
Okay, number eight. Read it and tell me the answer. I like singing. Mm -hmm. My mother sings with me. Great, my mother sings with me. Number nine. Francois and Alan are French. Mm -hmm. Their families are from, I don't know. I can see the France. I, from, I don't know. From, from France. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Yeah. There we go. They're their family are, are their families are from France. Oh, there's a mistake here. It should be families in plural. And then uh, we have number 10. Mary likes hair. Hair. Hair oh, her her mother. Her mother. She often visits. She often her. visits. And remember that here the verb like is not gustar, right? It is a agradar or caer bien, right? A uh, Mary le cae bien su abuelita o le agrada su abuelita. So that's what we mean with this sentence. Okay, and now I heard some of you were hesitating about pronunciation of some words. So let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. Mathematics. 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 Homework. 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 Let me see. England. 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 Australia. Australia. High school. High school. High school. High school. Primary school. Primary school. Primary school. school. Ben. 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 Fantastic. 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 Singing. 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 French. Friends. 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 Grandmother. 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 Often. 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 Okay, very well. Now let's talk about the favorites. Tell me about your favorites. And um, let me see, Norman Rivera. Who were you working with? Yes. Who were your classmates? Yes. Your partners. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I um, I I read uh, all all the questions or one. Uh, only choose one of your classmates and tell me about his or her answers. Uh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite color? Norma, tell me about one yes. of your classmates. Eh, ¿Con quién has estado trabajando? Uh, Walter. Walter? Okay, so tell me about Walter. Okay. What's his favorite color? Okay. My favorite color is blue. Color blue. Okay, very well, Walter. And now, eh, Walter, do you remember what's Norman's favorite food? ¿Cuál es la comida favorita de Norman? His favorite food is? Uh, uh, his favorite food is chicken. Chicken, all right. And now, Norman, what's, um, what uh, is your classmate's favorite sport? What is Walter's favorite sport? Oh. Yeah, my, um, my favorite sport, my favorite sport. Uh, Walter's favorite sport. Oh, Walter's favorite sport mm -hmm. is soccer. Is soccer. His, okay, his favorite sport yes. is soccer. Very well. Yes. Okay, thanks yes. Norman and Walter. Now let me have a Edilia Roxana. A, who are your classmates? Who are you working with? The name. Oh, don't remember. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I don't. I don't know how. Okay, so tell me about your likes then. Name? Don't worry. Okay. Tell me about a, your my, favorite color. What's your favorite color? 
Okay, my favorite color is pink and purple. Okay, you got two. So you would say my favorite colors are pink and purple. And uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie, um, it's called Left House. It's a horror movie. Oh, okay. A horror movie. Interesting. And what's your favorite book? My favorite food is pizza. Okay. Very well. Thank you, Adelia. Okay. You're welcome. Let me see. Now let me ask Yolanda Cativo. Yolanda, who were you working with? Uh, I work with Katia, Karen, Karen, and Karen. <laughs> oh, okay. The two uh, Karens and Katia. So tell me about okay. Katia. What's Katia's uh, favorite food? Her favorite food? Food is chicken. Okay. What's her favorite sport? Her favorite sport is basketball. Basketball. And what's her favorite movie? Uh, she likes horror movies. Okay. She likes horror movies. She doesn't have a favorite one. Okay. No. All right. That's good. Jose Torres. Tell me about your classmates. Who are you working with? My classmate, I remember Edilia. Edilia. Okay. Edilia. So good. So tell me about here. Uh, what's her favorite sport? E I sorry, Jose. I don't hear you. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe we're having trouble with the connection. Can you hear me now? Jose? Now, I don't have you. Okay, all right, um, no okay. problem. Yes, I have you. Oh, all right, fine. So tell me about your classmate. What's her favorite food? Okay. What's her favorite food, uh, mister? Me, teacher. Mm, yes, Jose. Okay, my favorite food is um, hamburgers. All right, that's good. Okay. And what's your favorite movie, Jose? My favorite movie is Nautilus. Okay, nice. Excellent, thanks. And uh, well, so that's how we use um, Okay. the possessive adjectives in order to talk about our favorites. Remember, whenever we are referring to something that belongs to a, a boy or a man, we would use his. For example, if I'm talking about Jonathan's favorites, then I would say his favorite color is a green. His favorite food is shrimps. His favorite sport is basketball. Then if I am referring to a girl, for example, if I'm talking about Rosario's favorites, then I would say hair. Her favorite color is red. Her favorite food is pizza. Her favorite sport is swimming, for instance. So remember about that difference. His for boys or men and hair for girls and women, right? Okay, let's continue then by talking about our next lesson. We are going to talk about, um, okay, let me move this. We're going to talk about subject pronouns and the verb be. So this is a topic you have already studied. Now we are just going to review it. So we keep it fresh, right? We keep it in mind. Um, so once again, subject pronouns, we have I, you, he, she, it, we, 
and they. Okay, and then uh, remember that we have a different form of the verb be for each of the subjects. For example, uh, for I, what is the form of the verb be? Um, am, I am, you? Um, are. Are, he? Is. Is, she? Is. Is it? It's. It's. Is. We. Are. Are. are and they. Are. are. They are. Right? They are. Very well. And then we also have the contracted forms. Let me get a different color. And let's write the contractions. So for I am, we would say. Um, I'm. Um, I'm. Um, I'm. Um, I'm. Okay, next, you are? You. Your. 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 He is? Is. It's. His. Yes. She is? She is. It's. It's. It is? It's. 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 We are? Where? Yeah, Where? Yeah. Where? They are? You. They. They. There. 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 Okay. Yeah. Very well. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. I am. 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 You are. Oh, you, you, are. Are. You, are. you are. You are. Your. 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 He is. 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 She 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 is. It 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 is. We are. We are. We are. We are. We're. 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 They are. They, they are. are. They are. There. They are. They are. Okay, They're. now let's make some examples using the verb be. Can you help me with some? Make some sentences using the verb be with any sub. I am a student. I am a student. A student. Good. We have another one. We are, we are intelligent. We are Mexican. You are intelligent. Okay, any other? They are playing video games. And we would say she, or can you she repeat is it? He's fantastic. He's a lawyer. He's fantastic. She is a lawyer. Fantastic. And let's say he, he is a lawyer. Okay, good. Can you make another one? They're co-workers. They're co-workers. Yes. All right, very well. So just remember that uh, whenever we use the verb be, we must provide uh, some more information, right? We cannot only keep it as the subject and the verb. We must add more information. Uh, for example, I say, I am a student. So I'm giving you a piece of information, right? Telling you that I am a student. We are Mexican. You are intelligent. She is fantastic. He is a lawyer and they are co-workers. Okay, let's repeat the contracted forms once again. Everybody repeat. I'm. 
Your. 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 His. 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 It's. It's. We're. We're. There. Yeah. Okay, very well. So that is what we have for the affirmative or positive statements with the verb be. Now let's talk about the negative. You already know that in order to make the negative for the negative form for the verb be, we would add not right right after the verb. Not. So it will become I am not, you are not. He is not, she is not, and so on. And I know that you already know that. So we are going to uh, Walter Giovanni. Remember, we do not uh, take attendance in this course. Recuerde que en este curso no tomamos asistencia como tal. Entonces, es importante que usted venga no. y esté participando, pero en verdad no tomamos asistencia como en el otro curso, que es más eh, estricto, digamos. En ese sentido. Okay, gracias. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Uh, all right, so uh, we would say, I am not, it is not, we are not, and so on. And then we also yeah. have the contracted forms, right? Um, let's write the contracted forms. Let me get a color. No, it's not. Okay, here we go. So what would be the contracted form for I am not? I'm not. I'm yes, not. the only I'm form not. we have. Oh, that color doesn't work. Let me get I'm a different not. one. We would say, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. And for you are not, we have. You are not. You are not. Aren't, or we could also yeah. say, you are not, right? You're, you're, um, Okay, uh, then for uh, he is not, he, we say? He isn't. He isn't. Okay, for she is not, we got? She isn't. isn't. He isn't. She isn't. isn't. It is not? It, it, it is. isn't. It isn't. And we are not? We aren't. We aren't. aren't. They are. we we aren't. aren't. They are not. They aren't. They aren't. They aren't. Okay, fine. Now let's make some examples. Make some sentences using the negative form of the verb be, please. Any examples? Let's say I am I'm, not speaking English. I'm not speaking in that case. I'm not English. speaking English. Okay, fine. Let's make another one. You aren't here. You aren't here. Okay. Make another one. Tell me another example. Isn't really. Um, he isn't reading. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Isn't reading. Fine. All right. Any other? Let's say we're not at school. Can you make another they, one? They they are not friends. They're not friends. They're not friends. He, she isn't a travel. He isn't traveling. Remember Travel. that um, in the case when you add a verb after the verb be, you must use the ing form. And uh, you are not using the simple present, but the present continues. Recordemos que cuando utilizamos un verbo después del verb be, Tiene que ir en ING y en ese caso ya no estaríamos usando el presente simple, sino que el presente continuo. Continuo, perdón. Continuous. Present continuous. So, just for you to keep it in mind. Okay. 
And, and that will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for your participation. Remember that tomorrow we do not have a class. I'll see you until Monday. And, and I need you to keep working on the platform, please. Keep working. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care, have a good weekend and a uh, good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night, Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.